So my pom-pom tutorial today will teach you how to um, have pom-poms that fade from one colour to another colour. So to make your paper pom-poms you will need um, a pair of scissors. These are just my kitchen scissors. I don't know where my sharp scissors are today so I must have taken them back to my studio. But these will do fine. Um, craft wire. Just bend the bend the craft wire. Um, and I've got fishing line to hang them. You can use invisible thread or thread or you could even use string. But uh, this is good because it's strong and you don't really see it. So as I said, 12 sheets of tissue paper. We are doing three colours in each pom-pom, so we have four of each colour. Okay. To get the nice graduated um, feel, we take three of our first colour. One, two, three. Then what we'll do is put one of our second colour between the next one. That makes sense? So then you put two, your two sheets of your middle colour, get your top colour in this instance, it's white. And then you finish with three sheets of white. So you just go through those in case it didn't make any sense at all. So you've got one, two, three of your first colour, in this case black, and then your middle colour, and then your fourth black, your two middle colours, and then one of your top colour, white, the last one of your middle, and then one, two, three, white. Now that you've got your 12 pieces in order, you want to um, smush them in as, as square as possible. And what we're going to do is fold it back and forth like when you make a paper fan. Um, so if you fold about an inch, I would say, for, you know, slightly smaller for if you're making a smaller pom-pom, uh, slightly bigger if you make a larger one. But I would say not too much bigger than an inch because you still want it to be fluffy. And the more folds you've got, the fluffier it will appear. So you just Fold that back and forth, fold the creases down. It should finish off looking like that. So one colour on one side and the other on the other side. So you want to fold your, your fan in half. So it's like that. And then if you take a piece of wire um, about that long, give it a snip. And what we're going to do is uh, twist it into a loop. Make your loop and then post. Post the, uh, the pom-pom to the fold and then just give it a squeeze, I hope you can see this, give it a squeeze and just twist just a couple of times so you have a, a loop on both sides. Can you see that? that help? Hopefully uh, you can see that. So now it's, it's secure and you're ready for the next stage. What we want to do is make the edges of the fan um, rounded like this. So, what you need to do is just just cut. Just if you can get through all of those bits of tissue in one go, then good on you because that will save time. I can't. Um, I don't know if my hands aren't strong enough. I mean, these scissors would never get through that many anyway. But um, I've tried with sharp scissors and I just can't do it. But if you can. Good. Um, I'm going to just do, just 
grip three at the same time and just cut round. Try and make them as rounded as possible. I have seen people uh, just snip the corners, so it's a pointed one. Maybe you prefer them like that. I like them rounded edges, but it's totally up to you again. Okay, so there we go. And now we've got two, two rounded edges. For making your pom-poms um, ahead of schedule, say, you know, over the months towards your wedding or your party or whatever, uh, this is the stage you want them to get to. You can fold them in half, pop them all in a box, cover them, put them somewhere dry and um, dark. Strip the middle and you're going to lift each layer in turn. Each layer. Like this. And what you want to do is um, make sure that you've pulled it right to the edges because that will make it a round pom-pom rather than a squashed pom-pom. There you go, I ripped it. So <laughs> there's a good uh, example. If you do rip it, it's um, such a good kind of poof of paper that you won't notice, so don't worry too much about it. Now you almost have a pom-pom, but obviously some bits are flat and some aren't. If you separate the, um, the top colours, you'll see the loop just in there. I don't know if you can see that. And inside the bottom colour somewhere, you'll see the other loop. So grab those and then just scrunch and fluff and scrunch and fluff and scrunch and fluff. And there you go. One um, graduated pom pom. I'll make some others, hang them up, and you'll see how they look. I have my three pom poms, um, and we want to string them together. So we take a piece of this, snip it, and you want to find your loop in the bottom of the pom pom there. I don't know if you could see that, but it was there. You just that way. Just tie one little knot on the bottom. And what you want to do is match the white to the white. If you're doing um, lots of different colours, then whichever colour was last on your line, so green, match to green, blue to blue, purple to purple. Number one, yellow, orange, red. Number two, red, purple, blue. Number three, blue, turquoise, green. Number four, green, yellow, orange. Number five, orange, red, purple. Number six, purple, blue, turquoise. Number seven, turquoise, green, yellow. And then we go back to the top again. Yellow, orange, red. Thank you for watching. I hope I've not confused you too much. If I have, send me a message and I'll try and help you out as best I can. Um, otherwise, happy pom-pom making and I'll see you again soon.
Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Say to white or to grey or to whatever. Talk about. End of rainbow pom poms. The last one ended in red. So it would have been. Which one was it? You do do. I'm confused. Um, but I forgot what it's saying. That's good. I think I should stop now.